Tonight, a major change in how Ohio will punish juvenile offenders. Governor DeWine signed that change to parole options yesterday. One local mom's story of grace may have moved lawmakers to pass it. They shot him. Then they robbed him. Suleiman Abdul Mutakalim was walking home with food for his family in South Cumminsville in June 2015. When three assailants walked up behind him and shot him in the back of the head. They didn't even say stick him up. They just shot him. They took 40 bucks, his phone and his takeout. His mom, Rukaya. I found it unfathomable. These are human beings, aren't they? And then when I saw them in court and they were children, ah. Oh. Two of the three were teens. She hugged the youngest, 14, at his sentencing and hugged his mom. For her to recognize that you know, they were children who made terrible, terrible mistakes um, and has the grace to understand and to hold that out as saying, this is not what I would want for them. It's really remarkable. It made her the perfect person to testify for Senate Bill 256 last month. To absolutely plead. It gets rid of life sentences without parole for most juveniles. When you put a face to that issue, when you put a story to that issue, I think it tends to reach legislators on a different level. Kevin Warner with the Ohio Justice and Policy Center tells me there are 11 prisoners in Ohio who that affects right now. This bill is just, it's, just, it's so redemptive. The change adds parole possibilities at 18 years, 25 years, and 30 years, depending on severity of the crime, affecting future parole possibilities for about 100 other prisoners. It doesn't go far enough, and we know that, but it is the beginning. Abdul Mutakalim says trauma drives crime. Her new life mission is to fight that. If we keep throwing our babies away, we have no future. And I ask her if she still talks to the mom of that teen she hugged. She says she does. They've done projects together. And if you're interested in her work, I'm going to post a link to her association and what it is doing in our community with this story up on WCPO.com.